Some people think when a team gets anxiety or depression, you know, we, we've got to get meds, we've got to get medications involved, or when you get counselling, um, or you know, we need to get repentance in there. And, and there's no doubt that these areas may eventually need to be thought about. But I would say there are some basic steps that we shouldn't miss out before we go to these areas. And, and this came to me via a psychologist friend, a Christian who's a psychologist. I once asked him, you know, what do you do for people with depression and anxiety? He said, I give them three pills. And I thought, oh no, you know, this is like the worst caricature of a psychologist. And he laughed, he knew what I was thinking. And he said, eh, good diet, good exercise, and good rest. Now, he wasn't saying that these areas in and of themselves will cure all depressions and anxiety, but he was saying that they can help a lot in every eh, case. And in some cases, that's maybe all that's needed at a low level. So what does he mean by good diet? Well, eating healthier foods or there's amazing research showing how some foods are real um, causes of uh, anxiety and depression. They multiply certain processes in our body's chemicals, and others are really good at suppressing these uh, processes. So finding out the right food to eat. Uh, but also you think of mental diet, you know, what you're letting in your eyes and your ears through our devices and things like that. If we're playing violent video games all the time or watching terrible news stories of school shootings all the time or, or just useless stuff coming in and overdosing ourselves on triviality and superficiality. That's, that's affecting us. Our, our mental diet has to be a healthy diet as well. So diet, exercise. Uh, so he's very strong, my friend, on daily exercise of 20 to 30 minutes. Ideally outside, not very easy in Michigan, where I come from in the winter. But being outside, there's a big benefit from just the sunlight um, and, and being outside in the fresh air. If you can, obviously inside is good enough. Um, the environment you do it in, again, is very good for you mentally and emotionally to be out beside water or green trees, grass, nature. You think of Jesus speaking to the people in Sermon on the Mount. He said, look at the birds, look at the fields, look at the flowers. He's saying, let nature come in. And, and all of that is restful. Um, and that, that brings us on to our third area, which is rest. So diet exercise, ideally outside, ideally every day, and rest. So sleep is massive. It's, it's one of the ways God uses to cleanse our brains of really damaging chemicals. And teens' sleeping rates have dropped about two hours in the last 20 to 30 years. That's two hours a day. That's, that's over a day a week of sleep they're losing. And, and that really affects your mental and emotional health. So trying to help them get good sleep hygiene, take a day off each week, you know, a weekly Sabbath, God made it for our health, our benefit. So helping them, you know, don't need to study today, just relax, play, it'll make the other six days a lot more productive. And helping them even just to take time off during the day. So it's not like dawn to dusk or to sleep, just packed, crammed, but even just to get a half hour of downtime, doing something silly. Um, that, that just lets the body and the mind relax. These are the three pills, diet, exercise, and rest. Very practical ways to help our teens with depression and anxiety.